live shows that you do are, um, you know, on occasion seem to unleash. I mean, the the the, the best mosh pits that I've ever witnessed as a human being. Um, why, why do you, why, where this, you, you have this sort of sense of tragedy and fun, and it goes through the lyrics as well. There's both horror and great amusement. How do you sort of fuse those two things together, and, and, and why does it end up the way it is? Well, I think when I write a lot of the songs, it tends to come from quite a kind of deep, kind of dark place, you know. And then, but then also at the same time, I'm also aware of the kind of ridiculousness of kind of writing these songs and trying to pretend your misery is this huge, important thing everyone to hear about. So I think the humour comes from the fact that I kind of can't quite take myself entirely seriously when I'm kind of feeling kind of downbeat and upset about something. And on some level, I know you're being ridiculous now, but you still you still end up doing this. So I think that's always influenced songs. And then in terms of performance, I've always and you know and they are quite some of them are quite sad, dark songs. But then I think you know live I like the idea of performance I like the idea of mu music entertainment I think you know the audience enjoying a gig is quite important towards you know, towards the entire experience I don't want to be one of these bands who just kind of sits there and plays and everyone you know and kind of self indulgently whilst everyone's a bit kind of bored and I want to bring the audience in I want to make it a kind of communal communal experience you know so I kind of uh, so you, you would see someone as like Radiohead as self indulgent I might see I got the radio had a much better live like I've never actually seen radio live I got they're actually a really good live band which so maybe they actually got, got a similar a similar idea of actually the kind of entertainment side live but I've actually hear hear really good things about radio Head live it's not kind of what you'd kind of expect at all in that kind of sense you've got a diversity of bands and what I mean by diverse is if the 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 greater populace seems to fall into either one camp or the other um, why, do you, why do you think that is and, and do you think you'll ever come out to be the uh, greatest thing since you too? Well, I think I think the kind of, because of the kind of music we make and because of my voice, I think it does split people. I know I've got one of these voices. Some people think, God, that's great. Some people think, God, I can't, I can't listen to that, you know, and that's okay, you know. And I think musically as well. I think in a way, I think if you're doing something interesting, then people are always going to react to it. I quite like the fact we're a band that people react to. I mean, I'd rather everyone loved it, but you know, I mean, but I'm, I'm glad that, but I'm still glad they're reacting, and I'm glad that ultimately, in a way, I think if it weren't the kind of band that got that got bad reviews, it wouldn't be the kind of band that got good reviews. And yeah, and the good reviews do outweigh the bad as well. So it's sort of so yeah. I guess so. I guess quite, it's a good thing, and quite a lot. I think if someone wants to kind of interject here and kind of help me, I'd really appreciate you, it. You, if you were to imagine our, our songs done by you too, <laughs> I think that, that would bring us immediately back to the fact that we're doing we don't have it right, aren't we? I think I like the one. One we'll reviewer said you were champion. Irish, which which was really funny. Well, that helped. Yeah, you two. Then that was odd. Yeah, we got called. I think I think Irish at least rats. three reviews in the past have described me as Irish, which I don't really have. I, I, I'm actually, I'm, I really, I really like Irish accents. I actually wish I had an Irish accent. But in fact, I wish I had an Irish accent as well. There's a kind of slight lilt there. <laughs> Kate, uh, Alex, fine dogs from a player from the Middle East. What's the next song? <laughs> The next song is The Day the Music Stopped. <laughs> Genius. The music stopped.
Niall, Hello. I have heard on the grapevine that you enjoy constructing words together to form um, what's classically known as poem. Yes. Would it be really cheeky of me to ask you to tell us something really inspiring right now? Inspiring in what way? I don't know. I don't care if it's shit. Just just say something cool. (laughs) Entertaining and inspiring. (laughs) I don't know. Okay. um, (laughs) I'm going to tell you a joke. Say something cool. (laughs) Did you hear about the corduroy pillows? Because I heard they're making headlines. (laughs) (laughs) I'm obviously too stupid to get that.